Good morning. Today we're looking at ergonomics and ergonomics is an area of design where products have evolved to fit humans in a much better way. So products have uh, evolved different features that enable us to use them much better. And this started after the Second World War when designers realized that they could improve the way that products worked by using specific shapes. So I've got a range of very, very simple products here from the house that give you an idea of how this would work. So for example, something as simple as a pair of scissors have evolved so that they work specifically for us. Now, these are very, very simple scissors, but you can see they've got some ergonomics on them. So for a start off, the scissors are curved. They're not completely straight. And the reason for that is that when you're cutting, you very often want to make sure that your hands are out the way. So by having the scissors curved, my hands are further back and not touching the table. Secondly, the handle itself has been designed thinking about the human hand. So the way we use scissors is we tend to want to put some of our fingers in one side and our thumb in the other. And you can see that this has worked by giving a much, much larger space here for all the fingers to go in and a very, very simple space for the thumb to fit in. This is also using different materials. So you can see that we've got a harder rubber and a thinner, softer rubber on the inside, so it makes it nice and soft to hold. The actual shape of the handle is changed as well, so obviously it fits the way that we hold the scissors much, much better. So ergonomics is not only the shape of the product, it's the materials and the way that it's been designed so that we can interact with this. These scissors have been designed to be uh, ambidextrous so that both hands can use them. We can use them in the left and the right hand, and it's the same comfort on both. So you can see the material has been transposed to both sides. If we look at something that's got very, very straight handles, these are nut crackers that are used to break open nuts. You can see that there's not much shaping going on on the handle, it's very, very straight. But what has happened is because the material here is metal, it's very cold, it's very hard, then we've thought about materials. So there are, there's a rubber strip that goes on the outside here to make it easier to grip and softer on the hand. There's also a little feature in here. This is for you to enable to open up bottles. It's a bottle top opener. So something as simple as a nutcracker also includes a little bit of ergonomics on the handle there. Other materials, so this is wood. This is a, a nail brush cleaner and this is using wood. And instead of, again, just having a simple top to this, this has got a curved shape. And the reason that it's that shape is so that you can hold it like this in your hand. So you're getting a much, much better grip on the product. So if you need to apply any pressure, you can do so. And it's also fitting very beautifully into the size of your hand, okay? So this sort of shaping, whether it's wood or metal or plastic, is considering ergonomics. I've got an ice cream scoop here. And again, ergonomics on this is very, very simple. We've got a bulbous handle on here. Again, it's made of a very, very soft material, it's plastic. The end of it's made of metal because obviously it's going to be digging into, into ice cream and it's got sharp edges to it, but this would get very cold. So the plastic in this instance, as well as being very soft, is also an insulator. So it's stopping our hands from getting very, very cold. And it fits again very beautifully into the hand. So we've got this tapered bit in the middle and a flatter bit at the bottom so it's much, much easier to grip. So you can get a good grip whether your hands are cold or whether they're wet. You should be able to scoop your ice cream and get your material out very, very easily. I've also got this design here. Now, this is a very, very simple pizza cutter made of two different types of metal. So we've got stainless steel on the end here because it's got a sharp bit with a blade so that it can cut through the pizza. But the handle is made of aluminium, which is a much, much heavier material. And it's also very, very durable. This handle has, again, been curved so that it can fit into our hand much better. But this has got a different sort of ergonomics in the bit that's been evolved at the top here. So this metal has been shaped and curved so that the thumb can sit onto this bit here and your hand can sit into the back of there. So you can see this is doing two things. First of all, this bit is enabling me to press down while I'm cutting the pizza so I can get a better, firmer grip. 
And this bit is protecting my hands. So it's stopping any of the material from getting on my fingers, but it's also stopping me from resting my finger on the blade and potentially cutting it. So we've got a protector and a grip that's as part of the handle. Now, some other things that I've used a similar sort of ergonomics effect are things like this. Now, this is a carrot sharpener that enables you to peel your carrots or your vegetables, but also to put your carrots at this end so that you can make some fancy peelings. But the ergonomics on this have been designed so that you grip it like this while you're using it. Not particularly very well designed. It's a clever little product, but actually it's extremely uncomfortable to hold this way. So the designer on this particular product hasn't really considered the ergonomics of how you would hold this to a much, much better way. And it's made of a very, very hard plastic, which again, is quite uncomfortable to hold in the hand. So designers sometimes go wrong. They don't use ergonomics in a very particular way. And other times they get the design absolutely spot on and the product works really, really well. Have a look at some of the everyday items you have around your house, including things like packaging. So there's a simple bit of packaging here that has got a, a shape. So obviously this is a bottle that you can hold in your hand. You can see it's curved in a particular way. So the idea is that you hold it in your grip like that. It's tapered again at this end to make it easier to fit inside your hand. And this time we've got the rounded ball at the top there, which is of course the bit that you put underneath your armpit. So they've thought about using this bit to fit inside your hand, okay, underneath your armpit. So packaging also sometimes has really good ergonomics.